Hi, baby. This is Anita. You can see how, how bashful she is, how submissive she is, wagging her tail. She's really um, dug some holes up here in my front yard. She, um, she likes to dig holes. She loves to play with my other dogs. She's um, really, really come a long way in the, in the few weeks to maybe a month that she's been here. She walks on leash for me. She goes in her crate. Um, she actually comes to me willingly now. Now, whenever she leaves on transport and goes to her new family, she's going to have a setback. So they're really going to need to watch, um, keep her safe and secure on a leash, um, make her collar really... I, I, I do not trust collars um, to hook um, leashes to. I always use some type of a slip lead. It would be great if she had a martingale collar. Um, um, they need to always keep her in a, in a secure fenced area or on a lead. And uh, when she comes out in my front yard, she's on this training lead here. Now, I can let her off this training lead, and she runs and plays in my yard, but I have to get one of my friendly dogs to um, bring her back to me, to lead her back to me. And, of course, she'll let me pick her up and love on her and kiss her. She's never, ever tried to, um, you know, snap at me in fear or anything. She's not really a fear-based dog. She um, just hasn't gotten a lot of socialization as a puppy. But she's sweet as can be now. Now, and um, um, she will make somebody a very very good puppy hey baby she's not gonna get much bigger she um, yeah she's got her canines in here she's a good seven eight months just under a year so she's not gonna get much bigger I can pretty much pick her up with one arm it's a good girl she does real well in her crate. She eats in her crate. She sleeps all night in her crate never had an accident in her crate I'm talking about you yeah I'm talking about you. It's a pretty girl.